Hey guys, how you doing? Um, Friday evening, probably about 4.30. Um, I'm doing a little video here. I replaced a 75 gallon natural gas water heater. Um, it was a power vented uh, gas boiler system dash water heater, 75 gallons. They had that in the house because they had a hot tub and they need the 75 gallons. Um, <clears throat> You know, I fill the hot tub up. Well, I'm I'm doing a video because it's uh, hooked up to the power venter, and I wanted to show you, you know, how how it switches on the power venter with the pressure switch. Uh, basically, um, the water heater's got a couple of rollout switches up on the hood. Um, if you lose power, the power venter motor won't run. It's a mechanical draft, and the water heater will fire up because it's gas fired. And there's rollout switches that will heat up and shut the pilot off. And some of these new um, water heaters, you have to wire them differently. Before, you used to have a thermocouple. You'd have a thermocouple adapter you'd put in there, and you would switch to that thermocouple adapter with the two rollout switches on the hood. Um, but this, the new heaters, you got to do it a little bit differently, and I go, go over that on this. Um, 75 gallons, very heavy to get out of a uh, cellar if you got to go upstairs by yourself. Yeah, you really need two guys to be able to lift that thing up up the stairs on the hand cart. I could do it barely, so uh, luckily there was someone there at the house that could help me. I got it like halfway up by myself and I couldn't do it anymore, so I had to ask for help. God forbid, right? Ask for help. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoy the vi this video. That's the safety in case the power and the motor goes off. And you can see down here it's hooked up to the thermal couple through those two wires. Well, the new heater don't have a thermal couple, it's got a power pile. Power pile generator, if you can see the. So I'll have to break one of these wires. Probably the white. And I'll um and I'll go up through the roll-up switches and then back down for the safety. There's a tap in the bottom of the valve. We'll be able to tap in for the, the pressure switch.
Alright, now you need to put a couple in there with the tank is a little shorter, this tank is shorter. New elbow, put a piece in a coupling. Then on this one here, I put the coupling down the bottom there, with a street elbow and another coupling. I'm filling it now. Put the gas tight in. I don't have to do the, uh, the switch yet. I do do a switch yet. Put a power right there. What's next? Alright guys, I got the new tank in. We got the roll up switches. Basically what that does is the power that just shuts it off. The power you lose power and this water heater will run because it's hooked up to the gas. Move the heat up and shut off the Guys, so yeah, this is still a safety roll out switch. So basically, I just broke one of these wires that goes down to the unit on the new valve, and I, I switched those wires together with it. This is what was in the old one uh, thermal couple adapter. Pull the thermal couple out, put this in, and the old one used to break there through the thermal couple. Switch yeah. Constant power to that switch. The water heater calls the heat, it turns the power vent on. Mechanical draft. Alright guys, I'm gonna go over the wiring diagram of the water heater. This part is for the boiler. T1, T2, and T3 will turn the boiler on with the power renter. But we're talking about just the water heater here. So you can see the pressure switch here. You got L1, which is power coming into the power renter. It goes down to the pressure switch, back from the pressure switch, right directly to the motor on a power renter. Okay, can you see that? And then here's the rollout switch here, going through the thermal couple. But with a new water heater, I just broke the white wire that goes to the power pile because there's no thermocouple on the new water heater. So here's the two rollout switches. So that's how it's wired. Um, for some reason, if you lose power to the power venter motor, um, the water heater will still run. Heat these pressures, heat up these uh, rollout switches, and trip the safety on the. Um, the power pile generator down below and shut the pilot off for the water heater. So that's that's how it's wired. 75 gallon. Now I gotta get this beast out of here. I don't know if I can do it, man. It's gonna be heavy. Yeah, usually I can barely get him up the stairs. Look at that beast in there. I needed help getting it out of the salt. I couldn't do it myself. Couldn't do it. 75 gallons, that thing's heavy. But anyway, the job's done. Alright guys, that's a 40, that's a 75 gallon there. And that's a 40 gallon. I have no problem getting 40 gallons out of the cellar by myself, but this 75 was a beer going up the stairs. One heavy, heavy unit. So Really, you need two guys to get that out of the cellar. On a car or not, it don't matter. <clears throat> the 30, tall 30. Oh. 